Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to learn how we can change the aspect ratio as well as the resolution of our virtual machine. In the virtual machine I have installed Ubuntu desktop operating system and I'll try to change the resolution now. So let's see how we can do that. So this is my virtual machine running in Oracle virtual box. And if you just drag your mouse pointer to this part where we have a small monitor icon, just right click on it and uh, just scroll to virtual screen one. And you can see we have a lot of options here which have been grayed out, which means we cannot access them. So we have to make them accessible or we have to activate those options so that we can change the resolution. First of all, I'll just switch off or power off my virtual machine. Let's just turn it off. and then open your virtual box manager and then click on your operating system all right just click on settings then click on the display tab and here you can see we have allocated 16 megabyte of video memory that is the graphics memory so i'm going to increase it and i'm going to make it the maximum that is 128 mb and then click on system tab and uh, then click on processor I'm going to increase the processor count to 2. This is going to enhance the performance or boost the performance of the operating system. So I'll just do that. Then let's just click on start. It's going to boot up our virtual machine. Let it boot up. All right. Then you will be welcomed by the login screen. Just click on your username and enter the password hit enter and then let your virtual machine boot up completely then after that just click on this devices tab and uh, scroll to the bottom where we have insert guest editions cd image click on it because we are going to need guest editions of the virtual box to enable some of the features that are not available right out of the box so we have to install the guest editions so on the left side if you scroll to the bottom you can observe that now we have a mounted cd-rom or you can find one mounted disk image that is the virtual box guest editions so just click on it and you can see the system files that are required to install the guest edition since i am running ubuntu i have to run this virtual box linux editions dot run so you can either run it right away from your graphical user interface or you can use terminal to run it so anyways i'll just run it from the terminal because it's more easy that way and to open the terminal the shortcut key is Control plus alt plus t and the terminal will pop up all right now let's first of all check the name of the mounted disk image so that we can use it to access the installation files so i'll just write find mnt that is find mount and hit enter and coming at the bottom you can see we have this media forward slash my name then forward slash virtual box guest edition this is the folder that we need to access so i'll just write sudo forward slash media forward slash username forward slash virtual box and make sure not to make mistake while writing the name of the disk image as well as the name of the file because if you make even a small mistake then you cannot run the installation files all right uh, i forgot to write sudo so i'll just hit arrow key up and down you'll get the same command again then get to the beginning of the command and write or add sudo hit enter then after that it will ask for your password enter the password hit enter and the guest edition files will start installing we don't have to do anything here let the installation be complete all right before the installation is complete we have received few of the errors this system is currently not set up to build kernel modules please install the gcc make Perl packages from your distribution so let's take care of these errors first of all we will type sudo apt dash get space update 
and if you are wondering what this command is going to do it actually downloads and installs the updates for each outdated package and dependency on your system let it complete executing then the second command that we are going to use is sudo apt dash get space install space build essential space in gcc space make space perl space dkms now this command is going to install the packages that are required to complete the installation of our guest edition you can just scroll up and check the error that we got while trying to install the guest edition and uh, it specifically mentioned please install the gcc make perl packages from your distribution so i'm just going to do that and also i'm adding dkms which stands for dynamic kernel module support and this package provides support for installing supplementary versions of kernel modules it simplifies both driver development and system administration increasing overall system stabilities and you can see Perl is already the newest version and uh, just type Y and hit enter this is going to confirm the installation process all right now once the installation is complete I will try to install our guest edition once again because last time it was not completed so there might be some issue or some problems related to that which we can address by reinstalling it so just use your arrow keys to scroll to the command which we used to install the guest edition all right then hit enter now you will get this prompt learning kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted so we can just restart the system from here so just type sudo space reboot and the system is going to finish the installation and reboot all right just log in into your system all right now just right click on this monitor icon or display icon and scrolling right to this virtual screen one you can observe that now all the options are active and you can choose whichever resolution fits the best for your monitor or your display so let me try to change it all right i think there's some problem with this i can see the menu bar in the entire screen but this uh, wallpaper has not increased let me try to open explorer and explorer also not opening up in the complete screen so let's just try to restart our device and see if it can fix the problem Now let's click on the monitor icon or the display icon and then scrolling right to virtual screen one let's select different resolution and yeah everything is perfect now you can see that the resolution has changed according to the resolution that i selected you can change the resolution according to the recommended resolution of your monitor or your display and since we have installed the guest edition there are many more features that might have been unlocked like the shared clipboard like you can copy something in your guest machine and then you can paste it in your host machine or you can copy something from your host machine and paste it in the guest machine or vice versa it's bi-directional anyways i'm not going to get into too much details for all the features that have been unlocked by the guest edition that's all for this video thanks for watching